Hey guys, Geronimo here. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be taking a look at two things. Number one, Kuriat and Fang from modified version often into the breach event. Number two, saucer separation from Zenbot Tier 5 Galaxy class. But before we do that, roll the intro. I have thought the Fury Atom Fangs will be an energy weapon, but in fact they are melee weapon. As you could see them, there are two Fury Atom Fangs held on kind of metal construction, they are quite sharp, and you basically hit your opponents with them. I'm not good with melee weapons, uh, I can show you this game, but really it's just me embarrassing myself. On all of my tunes I used snipers, and in most of the games I ever played I used snipers, and I don't like melee, and I don't know how to play with melee, so I'm so sorry, I probably won't be a good person to do a review of those. And now this is me trying to hit the Alachi with it, but unfortunately, as I said, I'm quite a big noob for melee weaponry so I basically decided to use energy weapon because I couldn't hit a thing and I would die uh, I tried Fury Atom Fangs in multiple ground missions it's okay for somebody who uses melee I mean it's probably okay it has on primary attack 50% of penetration while secondary has 80% of penetration of the shields uh, do I like it? No, uh, because as I said, I'm not a melee person, so yeah, sorry. Uh, next up, I will talk about the saucer separation. The iconic saucer separation is a console on tier 5 exploration cruiser retrofit or galaxy class. If saucer separation is combined with antimatter spread from exploration cruiser, which is the tier 4 ship, and with a molecular cohesion nullifier from tier 6 Andromeda, you will gain enhanced engineering system set. Equipping two parts of set will give you 2 flight speed turn rate and 10 to damage resistance rating and engine power settings while full set will give you 10 to maximum shield capacity and shield regeneration. And this orange burst you just seen on screen was wide setting of phaser lungs. If using Yamato or Galaxy X class and you decide to use a saucer separation your spinal lens will become wide. Instead of normal spinal lance, which focuses all of the energy damage onto one target, the wide setting will do reduced amount of damage on multiple targets. Sometimes, just sometimes, upon separating the saucer, the saucer will go away if you are out of combat. But in this case it didn't. If you are in combat and do a saucer separation, if launched from the Galaxy class, Saucer will have engineering team and emergency power to shields and it will be armed with one forward and one aft phaser array. But if saucer separation is launched from Galaxy X, the saucer will have phaser cannons, full set of phasers, photon torpedoes and mini spinal lance. If you are using antimatter spread console on any of those ships, the saucer will gain that ability too. Ship's saucer is good support craft, but it's not made to fight, it's easily destroyed, but it's kind of good. If destroyed, just redock it. Once saucer has been separated, you are left in command of secondary hull. You will get minus 15 to hull hit points, but you will get 96 impulse speed, 10 to turn rate and plus 10 to weapon power, but minus 5 to shields, engines and auxiliary and minus 5 to shield hit points. If saucer is disabled, it must be recalled. I created a private Starbase 24 PvE just to show you guys one more time wide beam on spinal lance and saucer's combat abilities. 
you could just see spinal lance from saucer you can see it firing phasers and pulse cannons so yeah good support ship but as i said quite weak and fragile would i recommend this thing well yeah <laughs> i'm using it and i kind of like it and this will wrap this episode up something a little bit different next week stay tuned for a review of my romulan tune especially fleet intel fight warbird until that time geronimo out Thank you.